I've been programming with Monogame and C Sharp and trying to make two dimensional video games, and I've discovered that I need to create a Monogame extension library. So, something I can add to every project, and it will allow me to get up and running really quickly with the game ideas that I have. So, this is going to be hopefully a place where if you want to learn mono game, follow along with this and and learn mono game. What I'd really like to accomplish with this extension library is I want to have sprite and shape rendering. Now mono game already comes with sprite rendering, but I want to change the coordinate system to be more of a normal world coordinate system where y is up and positive Y is up and positive X is to the right. So sprite rendering in that coordinate system, shape rendering in that coordinate system, I want to have a zoomable camera system. Everything's going to take place on a two-dimensional plane and then I want to place a camera in front of it which will allow us to have a, uh, a zoomable feature or a zoomable effect, right? We'll move the camera in and out of the action and uh, get either more view or more zoomed in, more detailed view. Now from there also input handling and audio uh, will be important to this as well. In this video it's going to be more of an introduction and installation of Monogame, but really the goal is to get this library up and running and we're going to be talking about okay, how can I make shapes, how can I just draw a rectangle if I want to, or how can I draw a line if I want to. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to open up Visual Studio. I have Visual Studio 2019 and we want to install Monogame, so let's continue without code. Let me show you the features I have installed for my Visual Studio. I've got the .NET desktop in development uh, MobileDevelopment.net and .NET Core cross-platform development. So let's close that out. So here's how you install Monogame on Visual Studio. You go over to this extensions menu item. We're going to manage extensions. I'm going to go in here and let's uh, make sure you're selected the online tab on the left. We're going to type in Monogame and this says, so the Monogame project templates, if once we install this it'll allow us to get Monogame projects up and running really quickly. So we're going to click download, it's telling us our changes are scheduled so we need to restart Visual Studio now. We'll close this, close Visual Studio, I think it's going to have an installer pop up which I think I see here, there we go. Let's modify. It looks like the modification is complete close that out and we can restart Visual Studio. Alright, now that we've restarted Visual Studio we should have options or templates here when we create a new project for creating monogame projects as well. I'm going to select games and this will show us all of the monogame options we have for projects. Let's start a new project. I'm going to make this a cross-platform desktop application just because that's the easiest thing for me to create right now and test my code. But let's just do this because that's the easiest way to get up and running and test my code. Select the location and I'm just gonna call this the the actual name of this library. I'm gonna call it the Monogame Pal, I think, or Monogame Helper. Let's call this the Monogame Pal Tester because this application, I'm just giving it a generic name. It's just, this is the test project that's gonna allow me to the sandbox project that's going to allow me to test all the code that I write. So I'm going to call the library Monogame Pal, I think. And so I'm going to put Monogame Pal Tester here. And let's go ahead and create that. At this point, we should have everything we need to be up and running with the Monogame project. So if I click Run up here, we should have a window. And there it is. Here's our Monogame project. Let's close that out. And let's look a little bit over this code. So the main entry point is our Game1CS. In here is where our game takes place. I'm going to rewrite or wrap the Sprite Batch class. So I'm going to clean up some of this code by getting rid of that. I'm going to rename the graphics just to be more in line with the way I normally do things. I usually preface things with this. So I'm just kind of cleaning up the code here a little bit, making it look more like something that I do. I want to make sure we're using a fixed time step. I want to make sure the graphics are synchronized with the vertical retrace. Let's get rid of some comments here. We don't need those. I'm not using their sprite batch anymore, so we'll get rid of that. Get rid of the comments. 
Right now I'm not going to use the gamepad, so we'll get rid of the gamepad code. That looks good. Get rid of the comments. Everything is a little bit more basic, no comments, a little bit more cleaned up, but nothing's changed as far as our window goes. If I run this, we still have our blank window. All right, so that's it. We're up and running with Monogame. Everything's ready to go. We can start our coding for our project now.